Alright, and so I'm back and we are playing another episode of Ziggurat. I've been wandering around the house for the past 20 minutes because I take a little break in between recording episodes and I was excited. I've been like jumping and I've been like shooting the cat with imaginary like mind wizard bolts and I'm ready to wage wizardry against all of my wandering foes in this upcoming episode. Let's continue. We're on floor number three. We managed to kill Amanda and then we had like Crushinator or Crushar or Grugnar the Crusher or something like that. I don't know. The Cursed Cathedral. Where did that leaf come from? Oh, okay. So this bush full of ivy over here appears to be shedding at a very, very rapid rate. Unfortunate for it. I don't really care. Ooh, hello. Oh, so they gave me the same book twice? I'm a little confused right now. Shouldn't that not be able to happen or something? I don't know. It's all randomized. Let's continue. Open the door. God, you eat that crystal, my friend. You eat that crystal. Om nom 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 nom. The doorknobs, in case you didn't notice, the doorknobs are like these weird little, I don't know, Pandora's box looking little guys with eyeballs eating crystals. It's time. Ooh, they're returning fire. Okay. The only thing I ever want returned in my direction is like a candy slingshot maybe. And even that seems like it would leave kind of a nasty welt. Okay, so another one's down. I'm trying to stay ahead of, oh my god. Alright, so we're going to rely on Spray and Pray right now for a little bit. Let me grab that before it despawns, because it will. This might be a good time. Wow, that's an arm right there. Impressed I am, my friend. Impressed I am. So I need to dial that back slightly. Got him. Okay, so we got them. Got him. Ooh, got that one out of the air. Blew him up. Said catch with his face. Oh, that could actually go kind of badly for me, though, if one of those things jumps at me and I catch it right at the wrong second. Oh, okay, a little bit of the red screen right there, just to remind me that they're tickling me lovingly with their return fire bolts. I wonder if the floors get larger as we go along. I wonder if that's, like, a thing that I have to be concerned about. Let's go ahead and wipe them out. We've got maximum mana right now. Ooh, health potion. Yes, please. All right, and down he goes. I've already killed 200 minions according to my achievements. It doesn't feel like I've mowed down that many enemies, but I'm feeling pretty proud of myself right now. Normally, I'd feel like ashamed for killing so many creatures smaller than myself, but meh, they've got crossbows. That balances it out, right? And we're making friends already. I'm not sure what he does, but I don't want to find out. It does look like there's some kind of magic spell flinging going on in my direction. Some kind of like magic AoE armor. Oh no, the floor lit on fire. Okay. So that actually is bad. Ooh, he's, oh, he's just... Oh no, they can be destroyed! Our cover! Alright, it's time to stay on the move then. Big time. I think they're... Oh, damn. So they, oh, they're like Molotovs. I was like, are they igniting the floor or what's going on here? Oh, there's little, oh my god. Okay, so we've got like major issues right now. And more than the ones that my psychiatrist talks about. I told him about the tiny little talking carrots that are trying to eat me, but I don't know. He didn't seem to be down with that whole monologue. He appeared to think I was crazy or something along those lines. Okay, so we've got that. I don't think, I wonder if elemental, oh, we got, okay, health potion, that's good. Put some purple love upside this guy's head. Yeah! Bask in the magical cuddle! Ow! Bask in the magical cuddles, he said as he ate a grenade to the face. Oh, and this room's a dead end too? No. Okay, so we got caught up in a dead end. We should probably check for cracks and things though, like that right there. Does that count? Yep, it does. So there's a crack in the wall. What about these? Not to be confused with the kraken in the wall, which two completely different situations, each of which has a long docket of fairly, I mean, fairly numerous steps which you must follow in order to handle the problem. So, watch out. Kraken in the wall, crack in the wall. Two different things. The list is a little bit shorter for crack in the wall. Okay. Mana gems will give you more magical energy. Okay, so we got a warlock card. That's pretty sweet. Nice. Is there anything? What is this? 
White Noise, the Slender clone, released on 2012 for the Xbox 360, a blatant ripoff, filling the need for these kinds of games on the Xbox. Switching the pages for audio tapes helped players locate what? Hey, bring it back. Help players locate the clues and the setting was better. If we do say so ourselves. <laughs> the ringing endorsement seems a little suspect coming from the developers themselves. Nah, no, I'm just playing around. I don't really care. I don't play Slender Clones anyway, so not my problem. Whee! Out we go. I should really be more careful about looking for cracks in all the walls. I probably walked past like 50 of them by now. We could have gotten free loot. And missing out on free loot is a horrible, horrible thing. We're at half health. Oh, we found the key already. Okay. So there's the key. Having locked and loaded the key. Let's take a look and I guess we'll go southward since that's the only area we haven't... What would be the reason in cordoning off that creepy statue other than to keep it away from me? Dear God. Who decorates this place? Decorated by Voldemort. Not even Voldemort, it's just like... What use? Even if I was a creepy badass, that statue would scare the hell out of me at 2 in the morning. You'd be like, I'm gonna go get a glass. Oh, I peed a little bit. Like, you can remember, there was that one room when you were a little kid that you never wanted to walk through. If it was the middle of the night, you're like, nah, I'm not walking through that room. I don't know what that's doing right there either. Uh, there we go. We'll get him. Get him. Oh. Uh... I'm a little bit concerned about the nature of me being able to dodge these large mortars that are flying all over the place. Yeah, they've got quite the large AoE. We've got to solve this problem right this second. Like, he got to go. And they've got up-close flamethrowers and shit, too. Oh, my God. Okay, so we got problems. we got big, big problems. But, ooh, we hit level 6. That's not a problem. That's a good thing. Okay, so we got a couple health potions. But those mortars, it doesn't seem... I don't know how to get out of the way of them. Maybe you gotta jump or something like we did with the first boss. There, we will snipe him with a little over-the-ring headshot or over-the-rim headshot. Alright, and so we got ourselves a little bit more XP. I haven't been using my fire grenades because I feel like everything's fire elemental and it's not gonna matter. But I don't know if the game works like that. Should probably use it a little bit more. Let's go with our upgrades. So what can we get? Staff scavenger, we can get more staff mana. Yeah, let's just get more staff mana because we're pretty much full up on everything else anyways. I'm going to use the nade in the next room. At least I'm going to try and stick to the nade. I don't know what the next room's going to have. It may not be conducive to nade chucking. Oh, okay, so we've got a booby trap room, a jumping puzzle, which my platforming skills are quite low flying in all honesty. Oh, balls. Oh, what are those? Oh, they break apart. Oh, and they're suicide bombers. They're little, like, little jihad monsters. No, jihad monster, go away. Got her. Got her. Okay. And you, sir, unleash your little jihad demons. And we shall fight to the explosion. Not to the death, because they don't really die. They just sort of get deconstructed. That worked out okay. I like my grenade. I think I'm going to stick with the grenade for a little bit. You guys know how I am. If you follow the nerd castle, I'm one of those people that I'm a creature of habit. If I find like that one thing that I really, really like, I tend to stick with it like forever. Although not to the extent of like people still using Windows XP. That's not me. I like new stuff too. Okay, so that's one critter down. Hopefully it doesn't dare to spawn anything behind me because that would suck. Oh, God. Nade him around a corner. Yeah, there we go. Nading so much. They call me Ralph Nader. I don't know. I was trying to come up with a funny, funny... Oh, he fired too. My God. Eh, no. You little bastards. Eh. <laughs> It looks like they kind of seek you as well, like they kind of come after you a little bit. I wish we would find a staff. That seems mighty, mighty fine. Because we have so much staff mana just based on the random perks that we've gotten, but we have no staff weapon. Leaving me a little bit concerned about our future. Like the possibility that maybe this might not be going so well for us. We have the key already, right? Okay, good. Well then, let's drop this in here. Oh, 
Oh, no. Uh, duck those. Oh, he dropped a bunch of potions. Hell yeah. Oh, okay. All right. I get the point. You're a badass. Whatever. It's like a tubermancer. Dear God. His ability is to summon ravenous carrots. I'm like, that's one you had to write into the extra ballot box. Jesus. <laughs> a tubermancer. One of them is still back here, snickering. God, he is an ugly little prick, isn't he? Looks like he hasn't slept in like a decade. <laughs> That's how I look if you wake me up before 8 in the morning. I'm just like, ah! Just friendly to no one. Oh, we got a big room in here. So what's going to happen in this room? Probably a crazy chaotic... It looks like the ceiling's going to collapse, too. That's worrying. Whatever. Let's get this thing going. Regulus, the Predator King. Kind of looks like the Yan Kutku, sort of. I mean, I think he sort of looks Kutkui. For those of you that don't get the reference, it's from Monster Hunter. Oh, did I run out of... I ran out of space, okay. If only we had a face cam right now. The face I just made right there was quite ridiculous. I think we've got him outranged. So now we just get get rid of like his little posse in here. Because they are going to cause some serious aerial denial problems. Or area denial problems. We don't have aerial denial. That's not an issue right now. But it might be if we don't get rid of him. Okay, so he's got more health than I reckon. Eh. Back to the shoddy maybe? I don't know. I'm going to try and kite him out. I think that might be our best option. Although the shoddy, we're losing a little bit of effectiveness. The farther... Oh, he's stuck on a wall. That might be a good thing for me. Okay, so we got that handled. Is he free? Did he get himself out? Yeah, there he is right there. He's released himself from the jail of Kutkuri. God. He's got a serious health pool. Ow! He's got a serious health pool. He's taking us to task here. Headshots don't appear to help, so there's that to consider. I'm just going to run backwards until I hit walls each time. How about that? Take that, Regulus. I would love a staff, maybe. So uh, I knew I was going to get hit by that one. Luckily, it doesn't hurt that much. I mean, it kind of still does, but not really. Yeah, there it is. So we've made it past level three. I don't know how many floors there are in this game. This might be a real short trip. I don't know. We'll see. Oop, you there. Come join me in my lovely little goodie bag of magical... I don't know, magic, magical pleasantries? They're not pleasantries for my enemy. They're pleasant for me. I wish I could do all of these things. If you gave me, like, a magical grenade, I would give you about an hour before I would probably be missing at least two or three fingers. Let's see here. Warlock, we can get... Magic energy? Yeah, go with magic energy. And into the door we go. Okay, so we made it a little bit further. Let's go ahead and we'll do the next floor in this episode. How about that? Is there a next floor? How many floors are there? Mystery boxes will give you a prize. The Cursed Cathedral level 4. Yeah, I think the game goes, like, for a long time. Hey, stop giving me stuff that I already have. I think the weapon variety leaves something to be desired. I'd like to see, like, four or five weapons for each different type of ammo. Just, like, a bunch of different stuff that you can pick and choose your favorites. Or at least if you pick up the same one twice, it refills your energy or something. It counts as a crystal. I don't know what you are, but you've got, like, enormous man grabbers, which makes me really sort of nervous because I am a man, and I have serious space to... Ow. Okay. All right. All right. Ooh, there's nowhere to, like, hide. Getting closer also does not seem to be the best decision, though. Okay, well, we ended up with a whole bunch more XP, but not a whole lot. Those things, I don't know, you need, like, pillars or something to get around those because they lock onto you. And sans pillars, I think we were just sort of a damage soak right there. What is this? Carrot Rain. Through the millenniums, many apprentices have witnessed with delight this mystic and unexpected vegetable rain. However, their smiles have been quickly erased from their pale faces when they discover that those adorable carrots are actually mandrakes. 
trying to pop their eyes out. What's the point of that? They don't even have hands. How are they going to pop the eyes out? Maybe I just didn't look at them closely enough. Eh. Grave defilement. The situation you could say was quite grave. What do we have here? We got to level up so we can get an alchemy mana pool. We can get show one more perk when we level up. Yeah, do that one. We've already got a whole bunch of the other ones, so let's just do that. That seems nice. Or at least somewhat amicable. Oh, we've already got the key. All right. Let's keep moving forward. <laughs> That'd be my luck right there if I was on, like, the Starship Enterprise the moment I got beamed in. It was just like, ah, right inside my head. I would be that red shirt. Ooh, we got two with one shot right there. Skills. Skills to pay Z bill. Oh, Z bills or A bills or B bills or whatever you prefer. There is a whole lot of AOE filling up the sky right now. And I think we have serious conversations to be had with some of these gentlemen. Try and duck through that. Oh, jump. Oh, he was too close. Okay. Enemy doesn't even have to kill me. I do it to myself. There's a whole bunch of health raining from his orifices, or at least his pockets. I don't know. Maybe it came from pockets. Let's be positive. It came from pockets. Eh. Ooh. Yeah, there we go. Send those carrots flying. Oh, there's another one over there. Yep. There goes his minions. Hopefully those weren't his favorite. And then we got a couple more just hanging out. Let's go ahead. We'll swap back to the wand real fast. There it is. Another engagement swung in our favor. Or at least slightly leaned in our favor. I'll take either or. Watch for cracks in the walls. Let's do this thing. Look for cracks in the facade. I see nothing. I see nothing in the fake aid. All right, let's keep going. What the hell is that? Okay, so it's a jumping thingy. Whoop. All right, so we're... I'm over it. I'm over it. All right, we're in here. Hopefully it doesn't travel through walls. I'm going back to my grenades. Oh, we got these guys now. Ah, they're aiming in front of me. Okay, so you got to juke them, kind of. Although sand's cover, this could get really, really fiery. Oh, I knew I messed that up the second I did it. Oh, that's right. They throw Molotovs. Oh, there's more down there. Okay, so let's go swap weapon. I'm going to try and... Let's go back over to here. Maybe do a little bit of snipe chewing snipe chew is Pikachu's more violent militant cousin. He doesn't really have any electrical powers, but he does have a 30-06. And I'll be honest, I think one is probably more effective than the other. Alright, so down goes that oversized bit of armor. We'll have no full metal alchemy occurring here. I prefer my alchemy sans metal, if at all possible. Check walls for cracks. As always, want to make sure that the fake aid, if it can have a hole busted in it, that we take it out. Okay. The facade. Fa I like fake aid better. Fake aid makes me happier. It's got the word fake in it. Ooh. Putting rounds on me. Oh, and there's a lightning thing over there. Okay, so what are you doing? Hold on. You there. I demand you take damage. Maybe not. Oh, he managed... Oh, it's like a stormy dragon thing. Okay, we've seen these before, I think. Yeah, you don't want to open up this can of whoop-ass. Your friend's over there just like tunnel visioning. He's just like, I am going to hit this guy. That's how I get sometimes when I play FPS. Is I'm like, I am going to hit that guy. And you just like tunnel vision out. Okay, another one bites the dust. But a bump, bump, bump. Oh, Freddie Mercury, why did you leave us? Why did you leave us? Okay, I know why you left us, but I mean, I mean it more rhetorically.
I mean, I don't really need to stick to the wand for right. I would love to get the staff. I'm hoping we get it in the next episode or two. Oh, I stepped in fire. Awesome. Oh, well. At least it'll get me some blisters to play with in the next couple days. That's always a good slash gross thing. Okay, he's down. I'm going to collect his health potion. This pillar is my new best friend. You didn't spawn anything behind me, did you? I was going to say, there's another lightning monster over here. I just wanted to make sure. Get rid of him since he's creeping up on me. A little too close for comfort. Face only a mother could love. And even then, it would have to be an especially nappy, flea-ridden mother. Oh, they came back. Okay, so let's move. I don't think we got anything on this side. There's another lightning monster. I saw him sizzle. He gave his position away by sizzling. And you, sir, sizzled too loudly. Let's go ahead and I can nade the hell out of this guy. I didn't even have to hit him. My aim can be as terrible as ever. Oh, I threw an extra one on accident. And we're back up to pretty high health. Let's go ahead and level up, and now we should get three cards. Aw, yeah. So what we should do now... I use alchemy a lot, so I'm thinking alchemy pool might not be a terrible idea. Enrage just makes it so that you lose a bunch of health and you get a bunch of mana. It's like a one-time thing. A one-time deal if you're into that sort of thing. I think that I'm going to go with... Eh, we'll just keep everything even for right now, because I have been swapping between the weapons pretty... Pretty frequently. I mean, not super frequently, but I have been trying to use everything because I am that sort of person that falls in love with one attack and then never does anything else. I wish there was like another machine gun weapon or something, sort of like the wand, but like an upgraded version. That's what they should add. I don't know if this game's still in development or not, but they should add upgradable weapons where you can add like little mods and runes to things to make them better. Also, it should change the way the weapon looks. So if I add a rune to like my grenade that makes it ice, it should change to like blue. And then the little runey things should change. Maybe it has like little. Instead of, like, glowing like hot metal, it has, like, little icicles hanging from it or something. I don't know. I'm just spitballing ideas right now. Oh, yeah, we have this jumpy room in here. Okay. Eh. <laughs> I think you can more or less just sort of sprint that one. Away with you troublesome vegetables. I spit a pox upon you much in the same fashion as I did when I was young. Neither shall I eat you, and neither shall you eat me. Oh, Christ. Okay, you might eat me. Wow, that was a lot of carrots with one bomb. Hmm, delicious, delicious, floaty crystal thingies. I don't know if we're eating them or not. I'm just gonna pretend like they're glowing rock candy. No, I wanted those. Well done, fro- Oh, is that like a frog snake? It's a frake. This lantern is protected by a stone frake. All right, I guess there's nothing in here. Man, I hate these dead-end rooms. They make me sad. Make me real, real sad. Cost me a pretty good chunk of health, too. Ooh, jump that, and then out this door. I do like how the game isn't sluggish, how, like, you can move quickly if you need to. So we've probably got minions appearing sort of all around us right now. Ah... Uh, Got a whole bunch of Amandas in here. Grab that health potion just in case. I'm gonna swap over to here. Switch to the the magical rock salt shells. Oh my god, there's so many. Okay, spray and pray. My god. <laughs> Let us give them an icy reception. <laughs> she thought she wasn't going to get sniped over the collision. And she totally did. New bro that was a new mistake. New move. That's like when you're in an FPS and you snipe somebody's foot underneath the car and it kills them. I love that shit. Makes me laugh every time. Because you can just see them like, getting salty on the other end of their console. Just like losing their minds. Just like... Nah! You know they are. That's what we call map knowledge, son. Eh. It says there are still minions in this locality. 
Let's go with grenades for a little bit. Conserve our ammunition. Oh. Touche, touche. See, she got me back right there. That's why new move on my part. She got me through the collision. See? What goes around comes around. Learn and adapt. Learn and adapt. If it pisses you off, it's probably a legitimate strategy. Ooh, got her with that one. I didn't expect that one to hit. That was just sort of like a lucky shot. We really need to check this entire area for cracks. This is a really huge room. And I bet it could be beneficial to us. Those free treasures, I haven't seen one yet, but in one of my playthroughs before this, there was like a treasure chest that I found one time, and it gave me like a free thing. I don't remember what it did, but it gave me a thing. It was awesome. Nothing over here. Nothing over here, except for a rather... That wall's great. It's great at smoking. Oh my god, there it is. <laughs> the jokes just keep coming. The hits just keep falling. They just keep going. Down, down. Lower, lower, lower. Boss time. <laughs> oh, hell. Ow. Did you just shoot ectoplasm at me? Ow! You are so lucky I got caught on that pillar. You are so lucky right now, Bastion. It's like emu skeet shooting. Eh. See, he brought his Benelli along. He got his 870. He got his... Actually, I think it's a Benelli M4. I think the 870 is a Remington. Yep, I'm right. Totally swapped it backwards. Shotguns. Oh, Christ. Part of me feels like I could just, like, outskill him from here. Especially when he decides to walk into a wall for like five seconds and give me a bunch of free hits. That's right, Bastion. He wasn't nearly as scary as I thought he was going to be. Not really like a pushover either, but still. We have reached level 10. Cool. I don't know if this game saves it or not. That's my other concern right now. It's because eventually I'm going to have to stop playing. Not right this second, but... I mean, this is the end of the episode, for surezies. So anyways, my name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here for another episode of Ziggurat. If you want to check the game out, look down below for all the information that you will need in order to acquire it for yourself. I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode. Take care out there, everybody. And as always, hi-do from me to you.